What is the status of dealing with banks or finance institutes here in the U.S. that do have what is commonly known as Sharia compliant contracts or sometimes they call it Sharia compliant windows, which means that those banks are conventional banks. However, they do offer Sharia compliant uh, uh, deals or contracts for those who are interested, interested in. Well, what we need to know here is that uh, from a Sharia perspective, what you should care about the most is the soundness of the agreement that you sign with the other party. Is the soundness and the legitimacy or the permissibility of the agreement or the business or the contract or the deal that you sign with the other party, right? Regardless of how legitimate or how permissible the source of income or the source of fund that other party has okay so two different things that 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 are not supposed to be uh, mixed together okay the permissibility of the deal that you sign with the other party versus the source of fund that the other party has okay now the source of fund actually is not within our concern here because the prophet والسلام, did Transact with the with the with the mushrikeen with the polytheists in uh, in Mecca al mukarrama prior to migrating to Al Medina, and he did the same. And after his hijrah to Al Medina, he did actually deal uh, uh, with the Jewish community, and and it is well known that the mushrikeen in Mecca and the Yahud in Al Medina both they were dealing with interest, and Subhanallah, it was never ever reported that the Prophet والسلام, refrained from uh, being involved in any transaction because the source of fund of the other party, the Jewish one or the polytheist, you know, one was from a haram resource. He did not even ask, okay, where did you get your money from? Is your money haram or halal? So this is actually a sufficient evidence that the permissibility or the soundness of the fund of the other party is not or should not be within your concern. What you should care about actually is the permissibility of the agreement itself. If it is halal, then go ahead, move on. If it is not, then you should you should uh, refrain.